Okay, good morning and welcome to today's Finance Committee meeting. I'm Councilmember Daniel Drum, I'm Chair of the Committee. We have been joined today by Councilmember uh, Farrah Lewis, Councilmember Bill Perkins, Councilmember Adrian Adams, Councilmember Karen Kostlowitz, uh, Minority Leader Steve Matteo, and Councilmember and Chair of the Subcommittee on Finance, Vanessa Gibson, as well. And I think we'll be joined by, oh, and Helen Rosenthal is also here, Councilmember Helen Rosenthal. Today, the committee will be voting on three items, a bid-related pre-considered resolution, a transparency resolution, and an Article 11 property tax exemption. Let's start with the bid resolution. This is a pre-considered resolution that sets forth February 11, 2020 at 10 a.m. in the City Council Committee Room as the date, time, and place to hold a public hearing considering the local law that would, one, extend the downtown Flushing Transit Hub bid in Councilmember Coos District. Two, authorize the bid to expand services and authorize streetscape improvements. And three, increase the bid's annual assessment. Councilmember Ku is supportive of these actions. More information regarding the pro proposed changes to the downtown Flushing Transit Hub bid can be found in the committee report prepared by the Finance Division, as well as the bid's district plan, which has been posted to the Council's website. Next is the transparency resolution which sets forth the new designation and changes in the, in the designation of certain organizations receiving local and youth discretionary funding and funding pursuant to certain initiatives in the budget. Organizations appearing in the resolution that have not yet completed the pre-qualification process conducted by the Mayor's Office of Contract Services, the Council, or another entity are identified in the attached charts with an asterisk. As with all transparency resolutions, council members will have to sign a disclosure form indicating whether or not a conflict exists with any of the groups on the attached list. If any council member has a potential conflict of interest with any of the organizations, he or she has the opportunity to discuss the conflict at the time of their vote. As a reminder, please disclose any conflicts you may have proposed, you may have with proposed subcontractors used by organizations sponsored by discretionary funding. These disclosures must be made before the subcontractor can be approved. Benjamin Smith from the General Counsel's Office is here and can assist you with any questions or concerns regarding disclosures. Next is the Article 11 property tax exemption, and that is at 319-21, 321 West 38th Street in, in Speaker Johnson's district, which would receive a partial 40-year Article 11 exemption to construct 11 units of affordable rental housing. Speaker Johnson is supportive of this action. So that is all of today's items. Are there any questions? Seeing none, I'll now ask Billy Martin, committee clerk, to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on finance. All items are coupled. Chair Drum. Vote aye. Gibson. Aye. Carnegie. Aye. Kozlowitz. Aye. Rosenthal. Aye. Van Bramer. Aye. Gordenchik. Adams. Aye. Jonai. Aye. Lewis. Aye. Matteo. Aye. I vote of, of 11 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. And with that, we're going to hold the vote open for about 10 minutes or so. 10 minutes. Thank you. <laughs> 